Hello, great morning, or great afternoon, or great evening to you, great super pills. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you for asking. You're welcome to your creative and cultural arts class. You're welcome. How was your weekend? Hope you enjoyed your weekend and you listened to the news to know exactly what's happening in our country. I'm sure we all did that. All right. You're welcome to your cultural and creative art class. Mm. We're going to be talking about molding objects with our paper. You know, we've talked about molding objects with clay. All right. We can also mold objects with our paper. Some of you might be asking how. Don't worry, you're going to find out today. All right. So, we've learned that molding is the method of creating objects using soft clay or paper mache. The the method of creating objects, the method of creating beautiful objects. You can create a cup, a bowl, a tray, um, a face, someone's face. Yeah, you can create a fish, different kinds of objects with your clay or with your paper mache. All right. So the molding of objects using paper is called paper mache. So paper mache is a molding of objects using paper. All right. So let us find out what paper mache is. Paper mache is the method of creating objects using mash or pounded paper mixed with starch. All right. The starch will help this um, paper to come together and stay together. All right. So when you pound the paper, then you create your object with starch to help it stay together. Mache means the mixture of dissolved paper and starch. That's just a simple definition of mache. The mixing of dissolved paper and starch. That is mache. All right. So materials for making paper mache. I've already mentioned some of them. Mashed paper, starch, mortar and pieces. Yes, there is. We use a mortar and pieces to make sure that this paper are properly mashed. Mold. That is whatever you want to create. The mold of whatever you want to create. All right. If you want to create a little horse or a monkey, you have to get a mold to get the exact shape of that object you want to create. A mixing bowl. You will need a mixing bowl. You will need brush. You will need glue or gum. And then you will need colors. Remember, colors make whatever it is we are doing look even more beautiful. All right. Different colors: black, orange, green, blue. I'm going to show us a picture of a mass paper, a, a, an object that has been created using a using paper mache. All right, colors make things look very beautiful and attractive. All right, so the steps of making objects using paper mache as follows: you have to first of all decide what you want to what you want to make. All right, you have to decide what you want to make or what you want to prepare. All right, you tear the newspaper into pieces. We have we use newspaper because these papers are soft, they're already very soft, so it will be easier to just soak them in water and and mash them. All right, so soak or dip the newspaper in water for at least 18 hours, 18 hours or 24 hours. So when you come to school, we're going to, yes, it's going to be a project. You come to school with all of these materials, then you use one day to soak it. And then when you come back the next day, we we'll then prepare whatever it is we want to prepare. So you dip or soak the newspaper in water for at least 18 hours. Uh, 
sieve the paper from the water that's the next step you sieve the paper from the water then you mash the paper together using a mortar and pistol to give the desired result you mash the paper together you mash it use that is when we need our mortar and pistol we use our mortar and pistol to mash the paper very well pound it very well so that they will be smooth and ready to make whatever objects we want to make so you add starch to the paper to hold it together you add starch to the paper to hold it together apply to the form gently on a sizable flat plank all right so whatever it is we want to make we then apply it if it's a cup if it's um if it's a cup is a bowl we use that mold yes that thing we want to make it with is the mold we use the mold to make the desired object we want to make all right and lastly you repeat the process until you are done you repeat the process until you are done yes these are these are products of mashed paper look at the beautiful cup the colorful cup <laughs> okay so you can use it to store your jewelries if you have jewelries in your home when you make your paper mache you use it to you definitely should not take it close to water because it's going to dissolve all right so you, you see you see what they use the colors to do to make it look so beautiful i love the bowl the bowls they are looking, especially the multicolored ones, they are looking so beautiful. So imagine you have this in your house and you put flowers inside of it. It's just going to be looking so nice. And look at the tea cup. You can use it in your plate time. You use it to make, you use it to act your drama, to act your play. And then look at the, the other bowl that has been dotted with black colors orange and black they are looking so beautiful so we can see that when we apply colors to our mashed paper or our prepared object especially when they are dried and it will take a whole day it will take two days two to three days for this object to dry up properly all right it takes two to three days for this object to dry up properly and then they you color them it's when they dry up eventually that you should color them see how beautiful they are looking all right so i'm sure that we have learned a lot from today's class i'm sure i'm very sure we have learned a lot so now you're going to tell me you're going to explain what paper mache is write your answers in your booklet when you come to school tomorrow or when you come to school tomorrow you submit them you have to tell me what paper mache is you give me three materials used for making paper mache then you tell me three processes of making paper mache all right you can mention three objects you can make with paper mache all right so in case you have any questions based on today's class what we've learned today paper mache please ask your questions and Ms. Dokas will answer them drop your questions in the comment section or write them down in your book so that when you join the class physical class we can discuss about it remember to get all these materials tell mommy tell daddy to give you provide these materials for you so that we can do our projects remember learning is key and then we we have fun when we learn so make sure you make sure you bring these materials so that we can play with our hands and make beautiful materials all right have a good time time guys um i'll see you next time bye